Hi friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tarot Gabosis, and in this video we're going to be looking at the grade setup inside of a Schoology course. So here I am inside of a, a course that I have set up for these videos, and you'll notice on the left hand side is a tab that says grade setup. Now that's where I can set up my grade book, just like you would if you were using like a, an online grade book software. Now if you have the enterprise version of Schoology, meaning that your uh, online grade book and Schoology talk to each other, some of this is already going to be filled in, like your grading periods and final weights. Those will be added in because they get pulled in from your student information system, from your online grading platform. But inside grade setup, this is where you can set up your categories. So this sometimes is helpful to do, and, and we're going to recommend that the categories that you have in Schoology mirror the categories that you have in your online gradebook. So maybe I'm going to select to add a category, and I might call it, uh, oh, I don't know, quizzes. And it's going to calculate by either total points or or by a percentage, however that wants to work for you, I'm gonna do it by a percent. And I wanna drop the lowest, how many? Uh, I'll drop the lowest one, just cause that's what I feel like doing right now. And I'll say create. And I can keep doing that. I can say add, I can have homework, and that can be also a percentage and create. And what's nice is once I get all this in, if I want to, uh, you know, I did percentage, but I can weight the categories. You'll notice once you have multiple categories, weight category shows up. And when I check that, basically I can change the weight so that uh, it works out with you know percentages if you wanted to. So I could say that maybe this is 20% uh, of the grade and this is 80% of the grade and you'll see that the uh, percentages change as well. So once you have all that set up with your categories, you don't necessarily have to go to another course and redo this all over again. Up in the top right, there's a button that says copy settings. I can click on that copy settings and then uh, select whether I want to move the categories, the grading scales, the rubrics, all of it, some of it, none of it, uh, to any other courses that I'm an admin in. So I can just say this one and this one and this one, and it will copy over this setup that I have once I click this copy button. So hopefully that will save you a little bit of time. Last thing I wanted to show here uh, was that you can build your rubrics within the grade setup, right? If I click on rubrics, here's where I can create them if I want. All of this can be done when you make an assignment, right? If I go over to my materials, when I make a new thing, I'm going to use assignment in this case, but when I make something that's uh, able to be graded, this is where I can add a category if I want, right? So they're preloaded, but if I need a new one, I can add it. It'll show up on that list. Uh, and then here with the rubric, I can create a new rubric. So it all depends on, you know, whether you need to do it uh, right at that moment or whether you want to do it ahead of time. Also, if you have courses that are archived, you can do this same thing with them. You can copy the settings over from an archived course once you locate that archived course. Uh, so there you have it. That is the grade setup tab within a Schoology course. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifications when new content is posted. As always, thank you for watching.